Week 7, 2021, market was rocky last week. We had cold weather. We had problems in uh, in Texas. Um, but stall, small stocks did okay. Number two, long U.S. bond yields continued to climb. Number three, Bitcoin. Amazingly expensive, almost $60,000 a coin, uh, worth over a trillion. Number four, Thursday and Friday saw hundreds of stocks down 5% or more. Very few in the top exchanges. It was mostly over the counter. Number five, we kicked off our latest client project. We're going to be looking at virtual reality and music with quantum annealing. So it's virtual reality with quantum, pretty cool, leading edge. Number six, Microsoft Azure Quantum Inspired Optimizer. We got it to look at 350 stocks, randomized just to test it. Um, we're not even close to 3,500, but hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, number seven, we're now recognized, yay, founding member of the Quantum Economic Development Consortium. This is a U.S. government-sponsored consortium of top quantum computing companies, universities, academias, national labs, who are driving um, national policy. Number eight, quantum walks on graphs. Buckyballs. We can now walk a buckyball. 60 carbon atoms connected to the shape of a topper ball. Um, we could do a quantum walk. Number nine, U.S. Government System for Award Management. Sam, we got our renewal. We're good to go for 2021 into 2022. So if you're a government agency, feel free to write us a big check for some research and development work or even some project work. And number one, Summit Midstream Partners LP. The, uh, the management came out and pre-announced earnings last week. And so what happened? Stock didn't move much. $2 million up. Bonds, $20 million up. What we learned was there's a 10 to 1 ratio when management says, we're going to pay down debt. We're going to focus on increasing cash, paying down debt, reducing our exposure, reducing our leverage. So thank you very much for listening. This is Jeffrey Cohen, Chicago Quantum, with our top 10 for Week 7, 2021. Thank you.